الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبيبتي في الله as we know <coughs> during the holy month of ramadan and outside of the holy month of ramadan it's a beautiful time to repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek istighfar often and imam nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned in his explanation of Sahih, uh, Sahih Muslim in the Kitab Tawbah, <coughs> the chapter of Tawbah, <coughs> the chapter of repentance, <coughs> he mentioned first about the meaning of Tawbah and then we'll read one hadith, a very short hadith that Imam Muslim narrated or recorded. So Imam Noe said, أصل التوبة في لغة الرجوع يقال تاب وثاب بمثل وأناب وآب بمعنى رجع ومراد بتوبة هنا الرجوع عن الذنب. So he said the origin of the word توبة in the Arabic language is to return. Toba means to return. <coughs> and he said, it is said, and then he mentioned some of the linguistic meanings. Uh, Taba as a, as a verb. And then also some of the other meanings or the other ways to mention Toba or uh, other words that have the meaning. Anaba. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Anibu uh, al-Allah. Or to uh, to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, Bima'ana raja, that it means to return. <clears throat> and he says, and what is meant by Toba here is to return from the sin, meaning leaving off sin, and to uh, to come back to Iman. And then he says, Anna laha thalatha arkan. He said it has three pillars. What has three pillars? Toba. Al Iqla Wan Nadam Ala Fil Tilka Masya. Wal Azam Ala En La Yaud Ilaiha Abada. So he said it has three pillars, and the first one is to leave off the sin. The second is to have sadness from doing that sin. And he said the third pillar is the determination to not return to that sin ever again. So those are the three pillars. Leaving it, uh, sadness, feeling sorrow that you did the sin, and the determination not to return to the sin again. This is Toba in Islam. And then he said, فَإِنْ كَانَتَ الْمَعَاسِي لَحِكْ آدَمِي أو لِحَقْ آدَمِي فَلَهَا رُقِنْ رَابِعْ وَهُوَ تُحَلَّلْ مِنْ صَاحِبَ ذَلِكَ الْحَقْ so he said, and if the sin has to do with the rights of a person, a person's rights, then it has a fourth pillar. And this fourth pillar is that the person returns the, uh, returns what they took from, the right that they took from the other person. So if it was property or something, if you stole a book for some, from someone, then part of your toba, aside from those other three pillars, is that you return that that book. If it had to do with someone's honor, you make toba and you ask for their forgiveness for what you did. And then Imam Anoui said, "Wa aslaha nadam, wa huwa ruknaha al-a'zam." 
فاتفقوا على أن التوبة من جميع المعاصي واجبة وأنها واجبة على فور لا يجوز تأخيرها So he said and the origin uh, the main foundation of Toba is sadness, feeling sorrow, feeling sorry for what you did, for the sin. And he said that this is the greatest pillar of it. And he said, and they agree, meaning the, the scholars, and perhaps the scholars of the Shafi'i Madhab, that Toba from all sins is an obligation. And he said, and that is an obligation to do it immediately, ala for. And it is not permissible to delay it, meaning delay toba. And he said, so a canet ma'asiya sagira o kabira. Wa toba min muhammati l-islam. Wa kawa'idihi al muta'akkida. And then he said, regardless of whether this sin is small or large or great, that Toba is one of the great things, the greatest things about Islam. And it is a pillar of Islam or a, um, a, 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 a pillar of Islam. And it is something that, something that is, um, uh, very, very important. Let's go to the hadith that Imam Muslim mentioned. And this is a short hadith. He said, An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an, Qala qala Rasulillahi, Qala Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah shaddu farhan bi tawbah ta ahadikum. Man ahadikum bi dhalatihi idha wajadaha. So Imam Muslim mentioned the hadith of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala who said that Allah is has greater happiness with the repentance of one of you than one of you has if he loses and then he finds it. And then <coughs> Imam Anawi explained he said, Farah Allah, Farah Allah Ta'ala huwa rida'uhu. He said that uh, the happiness of Allah is his pleasure. Wa qala mazri al-farah yankasam ala wuju minha surur wa surur yuqaranuhu al-rida bi misrur bih. So then he mentioned the statement of al-mazri. And he just mentioned that this farh, farh, which is uh, happiness, that it is of, uh, it's divided into two, and one is that is happiness, and the other one is comparable to pleasure. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with His pleasure. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.